and they turned the corner. What's up? Can the low come up in your crib? Lamar nonchalantly suggests. After all, it had been a while since he had been to Franklin's house. However, much to his surprise and chagrin, Franklin snarls. Man, fuck you. I'll see you at work. If that had been meant to deter Lamar, it was not working. Determined to keep his pride, he retorts back. Ah, Edward, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, Edward. That was when Lamar froze. That was about all he had time to come up with. Should he add more to the roast? Of course he had to. He would lose his pride if he did not. Frantically, he searched Franklin for a possible weakness. That was when he found it. His hair. The patchy, uneven mess of a bus cut was truly an eyesore to look at. Lamar had found his target, and he was going for the kill. Maybe, if you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you'd get some bitches on your dick. Consciously, Franklin touches his forehead. It was working. Lamar presses on, searching for weakness upon weakness. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha'll call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon or lawyer she fucking with. By this time, Franklin had begun shaking his head and defeat. There is no way he could make a comeback that contained as much savagery as Lamar's had. Internally, Lamar celebrated his victory. As an insult to injury, Lamar leans in, getting a good look at Franklin's bad haircut, and in a sing-songy voice, dropped the N-word. The damage had been done. Franklin was at a loss for words. As he walks away, Lamar flips off Franklin for good measure. All Franklin had in response was a weak what?